Good morning. Today I'd like to show why bond prices and interest rates move in opposite directions. Here you're looking at a bond called a coupon bond issued by Muscatine Power and Water. This coupon bond has little bonds or coupons at the bottom that you clip off and you collect about $167 every six months. But there's another kind of bond called a discount, discount bond. And this is a bond where you buy it at a price cheaper than what it is issued at or the par value and then you compare your interest rate. For example, suppose that a company sells their bond, their debt instrument for $100 par value but currently in the bond environment people are only willing to pay 90 for it. Maybe the company has bad financials or maybe it's in the mortgage-backed securities business or whatever. People have lost confidence in this company. So you take the amount that the bond was originally issued at minus the price that it is selling for now. And then you divide it by the price that it's selling for now and you would find that you have a yield of 11%. In this bond environment, people are buying and selling bonds for whatever reason, to get liquidity or to cover their short-term uh, payroll or to invest in new uh, projects. But now let's take a look at the same bond again. This time, suppose that the same bond that was issued in a prior period for $100 is now only selling for 80 Dividing by 80, we now find that the bond interest rate is 25%. And usually a high interest rate then would show a low bond price. Maybe people have lost faith in that company and they're trying to sell it uh, for whatever price they can. Well, in order to induce people to buy that, they're going to have to be able to receive a large um, interest payment. So in our bond environment, what happens if the price of bonds suddenly goes up? Maybe people uh, want to hold more money uh, in the form of securities than before. Now we take our bond price that was selling for, uh, originally sold for 100, then went to 90, now went to 80. But suppose now because people are demanding more bonds, they want to maybe hold less money in their hands, the bond price is now 98. You can see now that the interest rate is only 2%. So what you conclude from this is higher bond prices mean lower interest rates or you find that lower bond prices mean higher interest rates. In the mortgage-backed security environment, some of those bonds that were downgraded to triple uh, to C++, uh, we're having interest rate payments over 30%. So you could conclude from that then that the bonds were selling for a small amount of money or a fraction of their par value. This concludes this video on why bond prices and interest rates are inversely related.